Hey, 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 good morning, Pajama Grandma, Sharon horn from here in my pajamas, my actually silky robe, favorite robe of my daughter's from her youth, from her growing up, and I've always wanted to get rid of it because it's just a silky light robe, but she has forbidden me from ever, or forbade me from ever getting rid of it because she loves it, because she always remembers when I would travel for my corporate America jobs, she would grab my robe and she would actually sleep with this robe because she missed me and it always reminded her of me. So I promised her I would never get rid of it and here I am using it in my awesome Facebook Lives these days. So go figure, everything runs full circle. Which is kind of what I'm thinking about as I am starting my day, not sure when you're listening this, to this and it doesn't really matter, but or seeing me as I'm starting my day because I hop up and do my Facebook Lives first thing in the morning because that's what works best for me, for my schedule. I'm thinking about um, the cycles and the roller coaster of any type of business and actually our lives in general, but any type of business because I am working on transitioning from traditional brick, brick, and, brick, brick and mortar businesses to my online existence and my online businesses. And so it's all like whenever you start a business or start something new, it's all a learning curve. And with that learning curve, we expect it to go in a straight line up to what it is that we want. But of course it doesn't go that way at all. And yesterday was like one of those emotional roller coaster days. I had awesome coaching calls. I had um, a really interesting experience with my ex. And it just was one of those roller coaster rides. And I think that whenever we're stretching, whenever we're stepping out of who we've been and moving toward who we're becoming, there's this pull and there's challenges and things come up. And it's how we face those challenges and how we deal with those challenges that count. Now, I don't know if I wanna tell you that I was in the closet crying yesterday about something, because I almost never cry, but I was in the closet crying yesterday over something that had happened that was outside of my control and that doesn't really matter. Actually, part of it was inside my control. So that's probably why I was upset and crying about it is because I knew, hindsight being 2020, that I had made some bad choices along the way that had led to a situation that wasn't ideal. And of course, it's got nothing to do with my online business, but it's just whenever we stretch or grow or do something, life will throw all kinds of things at us from all different directions many of which have nothing to do with our businesses or what we're trying to achieve, just to see how motivated and dedicated and committed we are. And if when life gives us a challenge, we go in the closet and cry and stay there for two weeks, we got a problem. But if we go in the closet and cry for five minutes and come back out refreshed and do another coaching call and we've got this, then that's how we show the universe that we're committed. We step into who it is that we're trying to become and be and we keep moving forward toward whatever it is we want, our goals and objectives. I want to run my businesses online from home in my bathrobe. And that is a huge growth and learning curve for me, just like it is for anybody else whenever we're learning to do something new. I wanna do a shout out to my friend Jason in the UK. I actually chatted with him this morning. He is the perfect example of somebody following their dream and stepping out of their comfort zone. He actually, at 43, has gone ahead and gotten accepted to the best private, or not private, but commercial pilot school in the world. Not the country, not in America. He's from the UK, it's actually in Spain. And starting next week, he is going, he's leaving all of his online businesses behind, and not behind, they're still running behind the scenes without him, but he is stepping out of them to follow his childhood dream of becoming a commercial jet pilot. He's always wanted to fly big jets. And at 43, it's really unique and special, but it gives me goosebumps because I am so excited for him to be following his dream, stepping out of his comfort zone and, and taking each step that he needs to take to, to let what he's doing in his businesses be set aside so that he can follow this dream. And it's a 62 week commitment with no guarantee of any results at the end. Now I know for sure, I don't know if he even knows, but I can already see him in his captain's hat flying jets. And I'm really excited to fly on one of his planes someday. But I'm, I'm so excited that I know him and that I see examples of people 
doing this, following their dreams. And if you're scared to follow your dreams, if you're scared to take that next step, guess what? We all are. We're all scared, but we do it anyway. So go out today, do something that stretches you and, and gets you out of your comfort zone. I am going to share with the world a bunch of these chronic painkillers prescriptions that I created. I did a bunch of like, I think 140 some now, little short videos, three to five minutes of chronic pain prescriptions, I call them, tips and tricks and things I've learned over the last 37 years that have helped me to kill my chronic pain and live the life that I want and actually get me out of bed and get me out of dead because I was both um, bedridden and I had a sudden cardiac arrest. And so they're, they're the reason I'm here talking today. They're the reason I can be here with you sharing things. And so I want to share those strategies, the things that have worked for me with other people because I know with 100% certainty that they won't all work for everybody because they didn't all work for me. Well, these all work for me, but there are the 150 or so things I'm sharing of the thousands and thousands and thousands of things that I actually tried over the, the decades because I was willing to take the next step. I was willing to say, this isn't my life. This isn't how my life's going to be. What is the next thing I have to do or that I can try? It, it's not going to get me 100% pain-free immediately. I get that. But can it make me feel a little bit better? And if I take 100 steps, 100 teeny tiny daily steps toward feeling better, I'll figure out what 20 or 30 things work for me. I'll figure out what five or six things I do every day that really make it so that I can function and be like a normal person. So figure out what it is for you today and just take one step toward it. One step toward being you, becoming the best version of you that you can possibly be. That's it. That's my message for today. I got stuff to do. So go out, have an awesome day. And I will, you know, I'm going to see you tomorrow, right? I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.